beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Very powerful song. Hallelujah. Please take it high. Binga, play the guitar for me. That's that's the sound we're really going to be working with today. Just that song, David Dam, there's fire in his eyes. I don't know the song, but very powerful song. Just just lift it once or twice and then we'll sit down. There is fire in this place. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire in this place tonight. There is fire in this place. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn. Fire in this place. There is fire in this place. It's the fire of the whole fire tonight. Yeah, there is fire in this place. It's the fire of the whole. Spirit of the living God, open our eyes, grant us understanding, and help us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I really want to appreciate all of us. It's been a journey of sacrifice. The Lord will honor us in Jesus' name. There must always come a time where you must be ready to commit your spirit to build to have some time dedicated and we're happy that this is what God is doing you're ready for tonight's revelation Ephesians chapter 6 the shield of faith the shield of faith tonight the Lord will give us a revelation the shield of faith Yesterday we looked at the mystery of the serpent and the woman. Know that many of us 
found that revelation very disturbing um, but it's a call to know God and it's a call to understand his ways Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16 theologically speaking we know that the book of Ephesians was a demonstration of the apex of Paul's apostolic ministry it was here that Paul communicated the the revelations of God committed to him with the greatest sense of balance six chapters divided into three portions that demonstrate the full stature of the believer Ephesians chapter 1 and 2 begins by giving us a revelation of our position the positional advantage that we have on account of who Christ is in chapter 1 it tells us what has happened to Christ in chapter 2 we now find ourselves featured there that he's not only seated but we are seated with him hallelujah and then he begins to teach us the character and the lifestyle that is befitting for a believer and now he teaches us the subject of warfare and not just warfare he now begins to guide us on the spiritual arsenals that are available for the believer and one of it is what we are considering verse 16 above all this is the first revelation we want to see meaning he had said some other things that considers um, important for the believer but he says above them all above every other thing he said taking the shield of faith please follow me carefully taking the shield of faith wherewith meaning with that shield of faith ye shall have an ability that faith can give you an ability and it says with that ability you can quench how many here is a big secret there are certain weapons that cannot do certain things hmm. prayer and fasting can cast a kind of spirits jesus said this kind there are spirits that are casted just by declaring the name of jesus there are spirits that you must engage prayer and fasting there are spirits that are casted through knowledge there are spirits that are casted through sacrifice there are spirits that are casted through covenant there are spirits that are casted through agreement but there is a mystery that can address everything it says wherein we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts not some the fiery darts of the wicked above all i've taught you other principles but above all taking the shield of faith he said wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts i want you to follow the progression of the revelations that we share day by day remember that when i was talking to you about satan day two we were discussing how that satan influences people by informations are we together now that's it's not it's not satan's best when he oppresses people and afflicts them physically that's not where you get his best the best is he brings you to a system of servitude by selling an information to you that makes you his slave that's how he became the god of thrones and dominions and the kings upon the earth he supplied an information are we together and here the bible is saying that three things will happen one that a man he never said take faith take note now he didn't say take faith he said the shield of faith and then he says you will be able to quench the fiery darts what are they it's not it will be costly for us to assume we understand what he's saying what is fiery darts arrows hmm. are we together now yes and then he says you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked so faith is many things a shield is one of what faith can become that's not all it can become but he's saying that faith has dimensions just like love the breath the length that there is a dimension of faith there is something you can do with your faith that can become a shield this is what he's teaching 
you already have faith but is it a shield faith can be an instrument of getting answers but not a shield the operation of faith as a shield is not the operation of faith that will give you answered prayers this is what i'm trying to teach you he's teaching warfare here not answered prayers he's teaching a defense system how a believer can use faith not just to obtain a good report like hebrews 11 no he's teaching warfare here there is how you can engage in faith and please god there is how you can engage in faith and receive things that god promised but there is how you can use faith like a defense this is not god now god is in heaven you are using your faith to defend yourself he's saying taking the shield of faith wherein you will be able to quench all the fiery darts let's look at what apostle john said first john chapter 5 and verse 4 first john chapter 5 and verse 4 he said for whatsoever is born of god remember we spoke about the seed of the serpent yesterday that whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world the greek word cosmos the social strata alongside the mindset that exists in it he says and this is that victory that overcometh the world even our faith so faith is many things an instrument for receiving answered prayer is just one of it unfortunately many people that's all they know about faith as an instrument that can bridge between you and what you want so every time we say faith our idea is just about receiving things are we together now that just an instrument to receive the bible says in warfare the shield is faith this is the victory that overcomes that there are fiery darts that can come for a believer and that when you know how to convert your faith like a shield it can shield all not some there is something you can do with faith that can shield all the fiery darts my first question is what is the fiery dart? that that's where i want us to look at because if we don't know what it is what is the fiery darts of the devil that he says to quench now he was speaking to people in those days who were used to warfare and the shield he was talking about yes not some small shield that you see the way the the military people fought war the shield was as tall as them from head to toe they could hold it are we together now and in ancient times when they were fighting war because of how they were trained the tip of their arrows were dipped sometimes in poison and when they fired it if it touched any part of you it could kill you so the goal was for the the arrow to touch any part of you and it would destroy you number two sometimes they could light fire on the arrows are we together now and with that arrow something that would be burning maybe like kerosene or something so that if it touched you whether your clothes or whatever it could set you on fire and so he says that in that similitude satan throws things at people and that you can use your faith as a defense to quench all the fiery darts let's see what those fiery darts are now when you study systematic theology listen um you come across a concept called the law of first mention are we together the law of first mention or first use and that means that when you want to examine a word a subject a topic an idea you go to the bible and find out where it was first mentioned either that word or that operation are we together now and see how it was used then that idea is what you use every other place that expression is used in the bible for instance every time you see dove in the bible is symbolic of the holy spirit so you see the first context of his usage satan has never been associated with the dove he's been associated with many things the vulture and so on and so forth like that are we together now so this when we go to the first recorded account of satan and man and the fall of man the warfare 
we see how satan used this fiery dart in genesis chapter 3 and this is what happened let's turn there can we look at it briefly <laughs> hmm. genesis chapter 3 and verse 1 we have some prayers to pray tonight genesis chapter 3 now the serpent was more what subtle than all the beasts of the field which the lord has made and he what did he use what is his arrow what is the arrow what does he send to men words listen 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 understand what i'm teaching you the bible says he said to the woman woman yea had god said so we never see him beating the woman we never see him molesting her like tying her hand but what left him to her were words did god say ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden it's a question he engaged the woman in a conversation he made her listen to him and she replied verse 2 and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden verse 3 but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god had said remember he's forcing her to tell him what god said and he did not say it by saying what did god say he just asked a question that forced her to reveal he wanted to know what information god told her so that it would become the basis are you seeing that now when satan comes to you he doesn't talk he does something that makes you he wants to hear what did god tell you because that's where the faith is listen he said what did god tell you he said but of the fruit of um which is in the midst of the garden god had said ye shall not eat of it neither ye touch it lest you die so that's what god told her she memorized it and had it to heart next verse and the serpent said unto the woman what was he attacking the woman no he was not attacking the woman he was attacking the information upon which her confidence was upon listen carefully this is a warfare of informations he didn't say woman i want to attack you the woman was there and satan could not touch her because there was an information that became a shield her obedience to that information was what stopped satan so when satan come he said i want to know the, not you the information is what i want to attack and here he's saying that this is what god said and satan said that's it my attack is not on you my attack is on what is keeping you in pace with god if i can attack that thing i don't need to attack you something about your taking away the shield of faith will expose you are we together now and the bible says and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die in other words forget about that thing god is saying it's nonsense let me give you another information and this is what he said verse 5 let me show you how satan operates now satan on hearing what god has told her is trying to reveal something to her for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil the fiery darts satan is creating a picture he's creating an idea that god is insecure he's just trying to tell you some things because he's insecure if you work with the information i'm supplying you you will find out that you will suddenly become like a god hmm. verse six all that thing satan was saying listen to me was doing something to the woman it was taking away the shield of faith the proof that the shield had been taken was this when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes she had been looking at that tree all the time in in the, our idea of tree as we know and the bible says and the tree to be desired to make one wise this new information had entered her mind it's like a programming this woman had received another information he said then she acted what is faith conviction and the action you take based on it 
God told her something that was a persuasion as proposed by her husband and she kept acting on the word of God that for as long as she kept acting on what God said it was a shield Satan could not touch her because God's integrity will make what she believed to remain and now Satan says there's no way I can attack this woman I will give her another source he did not stop her from having faith he changed what she was having faith in now satan is not a fool many people say he's coming to attack your faith no satan has never had the business of attacking your faith he's trying to attack your faith in god you need faith to do anything even if it's to work with satan because faith is about the persuasion that comes from ideas and the action you take based on those ideas here's what he did to the woman and the bible says she gave it to her husband who was with her you see that Adam was with her. He was not somewhere roaming around in the wilderness. Love kept him there. That's a subject for another day. The woman fell as a result of deception. The man fell as a result of love. Apostle Peter taught us. Adam was not deceived. It was Eve that was deceived. Adam loved his wife and as a proof. So the next time you say, I love you till I die or fall inside a well or something. This word is a Luciferian spirit. That, that statement. verse 7 verse 7 and the eyes of them both were open now the people who came and led prayer here cried that our eyes be open but who opened it you see that another information had created another idea satan never made any physical contact in as much as we know but he kept firing that and that did something to the woman and force god to take an action against them think about it you can't accuse satan as it were satan said what did i do i only suggested to you and you believed it and put you in a position where god himself punishes you are we together now look how serious this thing is luke chapter 4 quickly please we had considered that scripture Luke chapter 4 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness next verse please and all of that he was tempted of the devil verse 3 and the devil what did Satan do you see now again so you know where do you think Satan learns this the idea of firing that through words have you read anywhere in your bible that he sent forth his word that he released his word and when his word got to people he did certain things to them satan understands the value of words that in this kingdom dominion is through words and what words do to men that's why jesus is called the word of god the word of god if thou be the son of god notice that when satan comes to you he tries to say something to you that will force you to reveal something god has said he is not interested in you because he knows that you on your own you cannot stand so he wants to see what is that shield that shield i'm going to soon show you he said if thou be the son of god command this stone to be bred and then jesus answering him said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and satan said ah you know this scripture let's look at the third temptation please go to verse 6 and he brought him to jerusalem and set him over the temple and said to him now watch this now if thou be the son of god cast yourself from hence verse 10 for it is written first time satan did not he just said if you are the son of god but now he said oh you are using scripture i know it too it is written he shall give his angels is that is that not true this is bible here satan is quoting the bible he shall give his angels charge so jesus don't you no longer have faith in the father what has happened to your faith that you cannot jump 
ah don't shame me don't fall my hand he said I, i'm aware that there are angels that protect you jump as a proof that you have faith if jesus jumped something would have happened to him that will change the course of history <laughs> i know you are surprised that if jesus had jumped do you know what made him the living logos ah. you, you know if you read the bible don't just read the bible for the sake of devotion what would have happened if jesus jumped i know many of you would have ah, no, no matter what they would have come to catch him and all of that see they said we do not have a high priest who has not been tempted why will the bible use that word for jesus tempted like us yet without sin meaning there was a possibility it would have happened are we together now yes and jesus he said for it is written so you see satan does not necessarily stop you from having faith because whoever gave you the shield is the one who defends it so satan just changes the object of your belief and your conviction and he leaves you there believing you have faith and destroy your life and wreck you he knows what he's looking for the shield of faith let me tell you this the bible never said having the shield of faith it says taking it there is something you are going to do to be do you know what the shield of faith is the shield of faith is not the written word logos the shield of faith is what god has told you that he's committed to defend over the issue you want what god has told you that god looks at you and says joshua no man will be able to stand against you that is the word satan is looking for not just the one you just find anyhow in scripture there is a rima word there is a revealed word for you that is the basis of your lifting for instance god can look at a woman and before you had your children god can say i covenant with you that none of your child will be wayward that's what satan is looking for no matter all your bible study words he will not bother because the strength of your children's remaining is your believing that word the day you stop believing it you have taken away the shield of faith and given satan room to wreck your children are we together god gives you a word and says surely surely you will have your children and there will be no barrenness you will be surprised that satan is not interested satan is not interested in what is written he's interested in what god said to you not to everybody let me tell you something the proof that god is ready to walk with you is that he gives you something that is the basis of believing him there is nobody that rises in the kingdom without a revealed word from god that becomes the basis of your confidence you want to start a business you go to god and pray and while you are praying either the holy ghost speaks to you or you a scripture jumps out and that word you see is where the attack comes from satan will begin to use things to fight that word the goal is to bring you to a point listen brothers and sisters warfare much more than the war of spirits is the war of informations because your conviction is based on what your mindset is carved upon are we together words this kingdom is a kingdom of words men fall by words men rise by words men reign by words when you see a woman unbending satan is trying to whip her family bad news when satan went before god listen he said satan have you considered my servant job a man that feared god and eschewed evil what did satan say he said you have built a hedge around him go and find out what that hedge is it was a secret that god gave job that he obeyed every time 
and as long as he obeyed that secret it was not a secret for everybody it was a secret that was uniquely given he said job this is the secret of your prosperity someone else will do it it will not work it's a secret between me and you and for as long as job obeyed it satan called it a hedge no matter how they tried to attack job it didn't work and he said lord please make job to do something give me access to the hedge job lost everything only his wife was standing and satan now began to manipulate the wife so that the one last word that is left and job said no though he slay me yet i would trust him and satan said my god i thought i would finish this guy i had reduced him down the one last string that would give me victory over job job has refused he still held that shield like a man beaten and would not let it go and the bible says job had his life restored again you can frustrate satan by keeping what god said to you no matter what he says no matter listen every one of us here there are there are parents that god told certain things but the economic hardship is frustrating them now they are buying into another principle are you getting what i'm saying now the victory is always in what god said not just your action if you act by yourself you are on your own until god gives you the matching order you cannot take a step so every time we want to command victory in the spirit the first action is to build conviction not based on what god said to us what he said to you that you have received there are things god has said to me as a man of god and as a man that is the basis of my confidence there are things god has told me you see that he may not have told you that we have the bible generally that teaches us the character of god but i'm showing you a mystery just this on its own is not the shield of faith this is the whole armor is something about it that becomes a shield just carrying the bible and move you are carrying an armor but there is a way it can become a shield the moment the rhema comes to you that's a shield god says use it use it carry that shield stand before the labor market and say when i was praying before i rounded up service god told me that i will always cause men to lift you that's the word that's the shield of faith satan comes and says but if it is true that god said it don't you have an uncle that is in nmpc he's doing something to you he's not just challenging your faith he's challenging the word of god what he's doing is he's shifting the shield you are a sister and god gives you a word they shall obey and serve him he shall bless them and god said just serve me and me myself god this is not a word for every lady is the word he gave you serve me and i will bring your husband that's what god says are we together now now look at this let me have your attention please this lady is serving god and all of a sudden satan comes with all kinds of gimmicks when satan comes and is looking at the workforce of that ministry he's not interested in the people what do they believe until you have revealed to satan what god has said he remains helpless so he has designed a way of finding out he because he knows that believers respond by confessing the word so he attempts to touch your life and hears what you say in response you're speaking will tell him oh this is what god has said all right let's negotiate this is what god has said Ejimi, god said you will prosper did god say you will really prosper and then you say that and he says okay look at everything around you you have brain does it look like god and you say ah oh, god you just took away the shield he will strike you in a way satan will never my bible says listen it says with the shield of faith if you refuse to bend it no matter what kind of that satan sends that shield that faith can quench it a spiritual man 
is not just the man that prays in tongues a spiritual man is the man that has mastered placing value on what god has said that you can hold it and say do he slay me madam you have all kinds of things the way we are looking at your case you may never have a child you say thank you doctor i understand you get back and say lord i remember i came for koinonia miracle service and you used a man of god to speak to me lord have you forgotten that you said i'm so before december i will have a child and satan uses a dream to try to change your mindset you have a dream and you see yourself losing a baby when you get up physically the devil now says how about that dream satan knows that images are the keys to killing men he will use images and whip your intelligence the bible says to be carnally minded is death so you look at your bank account and you look at it and you see that all you have is one thousand naira and god speaks to you and say son by the end of this year you will own a house and then the devil now tries to be scientific the word of god has the potency for accomplishment remember it's a sent word it's not a red word it's a sent word the word has become a messenger and every messenger must be obedient to his master remember the word of god is living so we are not talking of just a thing the word of god sent on Aaron. the angels follow that word to find out where the word needs their help to cooperate with it until it comes to pass your assignment is whilst that is you are the only one who can stop that word from coming to pass by taking away the shield there are many men of god who have taken away the shield of faith god told them things they saw things their eyes were open to revelations i've said it if i die today of sickness the last word that comes out of my mouth is by his stripes i am healed when we get to heaven god will either apologize to me for failing me or reveal to me where i missed it are you seeing that it says through faith time will fail me let me show you men who use this thing in the bible time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak are we together it's a man who through this faith subdued kingdoms joshua look at joshua and caleb he said we are able to go up at once yes there are giants but what did he tell us he said we are bringing you moses when you came from the secret place you said god said from from egypt the land of captivity to canaan to canaan not wilderness i won't die here it's true we saw the anarchies it's true we know they are not pure human beings but it says the shield can give you an ability an ability and satan fires his arrows and human beings even pity you but when everything is gone you lift up ah and you say i'm still standing oh you thought it would destroy the ministry but i'm still standing you thought it would destroy my home and satan says what do i do with this person now listen let me tell you this everybody you see lasting in the kingdom understands this how to use faith as a shield the word of god must become your new eyes tonight are you hearing what i'm saying that the same way you have an eye pick what god said and let that become your system of interpretation that you can sit down in your room no gary and yet you are rejoicing and satan says let's let's cry together because you are making a mockery of yourself he will even use believers this is what is dangerous he will use believers you better use your brain you are you are a stupid person you are just serving the lord like a fool you better settle down and he said no i know him i know him father if it be thy will but god already spoke to him he knows why you are coming to die nevertheless nevertheless and since i said no, what do i do with him there is nothing satan can do with a man who will not find offense in god there is nothing satan can do to a man who will not blame god when satan pushes you and you do not charge god with guilt i tell you have this let me tell you this 
I don't know if you have been taught or not, but hear me. I found out a secret about Satan. He can be tired. You know how a man can be frustrated. Have you ever seen a man trying to do something and he's frustrated? You are trying to kick a car and after one hour, this thing is not working and you just dump it. That thing can happen to Satan. A believer can weary Satan that Satan will see you and mind himself. It is true. Jesus did it and he left Jesus for a season. He said, I'm tired. There's something he has told me. God, there is nothing on earth that will dwindle me. The Bible calls one who has fallen to the prey of Satan a double-minded man. He said, let that man not think he will ever receive anything. That means that person, it, there's no, it, whatever it is that he thinks, you depend on men. Satan will use them to manipulate your mind. God will tell you, start this business. And the devil tells you, look, be careful. He will use it is written. I hope Satan spoke to God. He will speak to you and you will hear him. So don't you think every voice that speaks to you just because it is scriptures is of God. The fact that you just had a scripture that you can get the verse and chapter does not mean it is God. Satan is not a fool. When he comes to you, he says, and you know that wisdom is profitable to direct. And you say, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. No, no. You need discernment. Discernment to know that although this is scripture, this is against the revealed word to me. Something is wrong. Listen, if you want to rise in life and you want to reign in life, listen to what I'm telling you. Your dominion in the final analysis will be on the strength of your staying power to say I'm not bending. If I perish here, is that kind of statement Satan doesn't want? That's the kind of thing that drives him crazy. When you say Satan, I'm angry, he says, Oh, you are human, you can change. You come to church now and dance up and down. But when Satan sees your tears and you say, Satan, if you are expecting to hear from me tomorrow that I've given up, you are joking. Are we together? Job said, Though he slay me yet will i trust him all the days of my appointed time who told him the time was appointed i will wait until my change comes jesus said destroy this temple i'll build it in three days do you know why jesus resurrected it wasn't just because he was the son of god it was because the revealed word had declared that the grave would not be able to hold him there had to be jesus himself held on to a word in death and the word brought him back to life hear me believers the starting point of your victory is holding on to something that has been revealed something that god has said something that god has said there are things god has told me if god said it's a year of signs and wonders it can be a general word for everybody but in your place of prayer you will hear something from that word that becomes your word it's up to you now to hold it and say lord i thank you it's a great peace of day that feared that fear him in nothing in nothing in nothing do you know there's a revelation that i have and god gave me that revelation luke 10 19 he says behold behold this is god talking to me not not believers god is talking to me joshua selman behold see conceive as a reality in your spirit i give you power upon snakes and scorpions to tread upon snakes and scorpions and every power of the enemy that's your revelation let me tell you my own and nothing shall by any means what is by any means mention the means of transportation you have air you have land mention the means by which satan can use to afflict people covenant whatever it is your own faith level self the bible says by any means hurt you i can't believe this one for you but it's the revelation that keeps with me that's the reason a herbalist can call my name in the shrine and die for nothing reduce his lifespan while i'm sleeping i'm not even praying about it because even in my sleep there is a shield you see it's not something you wake up and hold listen 
I have said it for a long time. There is no mortal man born of a woman that can kill me. It's not pride. I'm standing on something God told me. It's not just I shall not die but live. That's a general revelation. There is something God told you that you hold. God told Bishop Oyedeko, go and build a 50,000 capacity sitter. It cannot be done humanly. But that was a revealed word. And regardless of the odds, he kept that shield of faith. And in nine months, that word came to pass. Satan notwithstanding. God declared a word to us as a ministry. Declared a word over the teachings, over the things we are doing. And we have kept that shield of faith. No matter what it is kept, what you see today is a product of the staying power of faith. Tonight's call is a call to take back your shield. Do you know why I say take it back? Because for some of you, you've thrown it. He said, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Apostle God told me by November, I'll be smiling. Take it. I remember a lady that I, I spoke to. I can't remember. Uh, we were joking with her. And I told her, I said, by December this year, you'll be heavy. And the lady was smiling and all of that and i said you see that now you didn't believe it and we were cracking jokes with her now if i'm joking it will come to pass you see that because i'm human i can joke doesn't mean that everything i say is the word I, i'm a human being we can play and joke but when it is the revealed word of god and you hold it god will surprise you you hear all these maybe miracle alerts and all of that it's unfortunate for people who don't believe this thing can happen the word of God except it is not sent if the word of God is sent brothers and sisters once you hold that shield just be watching Satan like Elijah while they are crying on Baal from morning look at Elijah was mocking them his shield was there secured he knew what to do he knew the mysteries that will bring fire he was not guessing and he said call on your God you only mock Satan when your shield is there and you look at him and say Satan look at how elijah mocked them and said maybe he's sleeping call on him louder and when it was time he didn't just start saying lord and you don't disappoint me no he said set me the altars i know what to do bring 12 stones put water on them put the sacrifice and he cried upon the god of heaven and fire came and licked it faith is not mechanical there is no faith when there is no revealed word there is no faith when there is no revealed word. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm careful when I'm sharing testimonies like this. One day, I was praying. I was praying in the spirit very deeply. And all of a sudden, the word of the Lord came to me. And this is what the Lord said. He said, I am sending 1,000 titers to the ministry and 1,000 titers to your life. The word. I said, what is the meaning of this? I wrote it down. 1,000 titers to the ministry. 1,000 titers to your life as people people in the ministry are more than that and then i went to sleep and all of a sudden in my eye i started seeing business organizations and individuals and all of that saying the lord spoke to us to come and be paying tight some to your house some to you and i got up i said lord is this it and the lord said if you believe it and you receive it i will surprise you you don't have to know where they will come from you see that and all of a sudden i said lord i'm a believer i take your word brothers and sisters it was like a charm hello is this coin on here this is so 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 and so company in lagos am i speaking to this and that um you are apostle joshua selman please give us the ministry account number 
the lord instructed us as a business that the tithe of this company for as long as we exist should come to the ministry and god said keep counting i said one thousand not just people giving you see that listen i'm I, that's why i said i'm sorry if it sounds arrogant but i'm telling you you reign by the word you receive you reign by when god sends it you can reject it A word was sent through Gabriel to Mary the Holy Ghost will come upon you she would have said get out please and that's it the Holy Ghost would have gone to look for another virgin somewhere and said this this Mary she has not but Mary said be it unto me according to your word do you know the controversy that followed that word Mary you are pregnant who got you pregnant? A ghost, you are joking. It's either Joseph or one rabbi. She said, no. God told me an angel just appeared to me. And God kept his word. And Jesus was born. Many of us would have birthed certain things if only you held that shield. When it was one week for the prayer to be answered, you gave in to Satan and you threw the shield. Tonight, my assignment in this prayer is that we are taking back that shield. Lord, I've become a believer again. I remember what you told me in 1992. I don't know what took my attention away, but Lord, I'm remembering it again. Some of you, when you go back, there are the old notebooks that you wrote things that God said. God described your destiny, but because it was too big, you just closed it quietly. Go back tonight. Take back that shield. Lord, I'm a believer. Take it and watch Satan. Watch faith. Rubbish Satan in your life listen in this prayer and fasting i'm demystifying satan for you the honor that has satan is human satan is a man he's not just a spirit he was once listen satan was once the head of a civilization on earth what jesus was sent to represent there was a day satan was sent to do it satan one time was sent on earth to be the revelator of the love of god to the then inhabitants that's what gave him the authorization to capture the people and say this god up there have you ever seen him am i not the one representing him that's why romans say who shall say let's go up and bring him down for us the word is nighty christ himself came and said let it not be that god does not want to come to men now i have come not an angel i have come by myself the garden of eden was not created for adam and eve the first occupant of the garden of eden is satan ezekiel 28 that was in eden the garden of the lord he was there because of our wrong believing we have given more power to satan than should be i told us yesterday i know some of you don't believe it that there are angels today that have fallen that have nothing to do with satan it was not satan that threw them they were rebels another group of angels they are bound today in everlasting chains the devil and his demons are not bound in chains there are demons today now that are bound in chains the only reason why satan has not been bound is because there was a time given to respect his will for choosing to reject God when Jesus was going to cast out the demons in Gadara he said have you come to destroy us respect the rules there is a time but the time is not yet so what you can do now is to cast them and create a system of keeping them at bay the destruction as it were is something that there is a time appointed God respects it that's what makes satan looks powerful so he comes to you and said i am indestructible are you not seeing god's frustration in destroying me it is not god's it was michael that casted him down not even god you wait and see how god destroys satan it is fire that will come from his mouth and consume the creature flood will never happen on earth again it is now the ministry of fire are we together now it is with fire that lucifer will be destroyed so god's withholding him or withholding his hands from lucifer is not a sign of weakness but he takes advantage of our ignorance and makes it look like his continual dominion is proof that god is weak there is a time he has been conquered for the saints 
but his ultimate destruction will be done by God's sovereign power when the time appointed has reached but with the power and the strength of the word of God you can keep him at bay you can keep him that's why I cast out devils here and I drive safely I go home and sleep otherwise they are supposed to appear to me and say since you casted us in Koinonia we are here in your house beg them to come if you ever meet them this is not just some bold statement beg say Satan please come you can know this thing and carry your shield and pass Satan and he will pass you and he will move brothers and sisters Satan is not what we think he is he has used words he has sent fiery darts into the minds of preachers into the minds of book writers and they have in error magnified him beyond the proportion of his true size by light we are bringing him down to say look Satan your only strength is in your ability to capture the belief of the saints and manipulate their understanding so the real warfare is not physical the real warfare is using the shield of faith to maintain that truth of God's word and that in maintaining it you force the integrity of God to appear in the scene are you hearing what I'm saying because we are going to pray tonight satan's greatest weapon is doubt unbelief he manipulates your mind he knows what your eyes can do he knows what your ears can do these are the gates to his dominion in your life he sends those fiery darts he uses dreams he uses your physical experience he uses the news you hear and they just tell you look in the world now it is ratio four ladies to one man so the chances of a lady marrying he uses the media to sell you that information while you are reading the article you are imagining yourself four rows behind and then he tells you look um, just know that there is no marriage for you and if at all it happens you cannot have a child there are women who believe once they are past 45 50 they can't have a child again and information proposed it to a territory we have doctors here so based on what you is it's an opinion but it's an educated opinion are we together yes so a man you go to the hospital and a woman and they say you are impotent and you are barren look at the reports and you look at it and satan steals into that conversation and says see it you to use your brain what is, are you didn't you go to school based on what they taught you what is the analysis but at that point you lift the shield of faith and say there is another report he said whose report Many, many people will give you reports. Satan will give you reports. Science will give you reports. Your culture will give you reports. Well-meaning believers will give you reports. But whose report will you believe? I choose his report. I choose his report. I choose his report. I know what he's told me. I choose his report. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. He told Joshua no man shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life and so when an angel appeared to Joshua Joshua removed the knife he said are you for us or against us he would have killed that angel the word of God on Joshua would have killed that angel if he did not explain he said no calm down calm down because he was moving on a word if it be thou bid me come come and he started walking on the wall and the moment he satan did not take him out of the river he only took his face away and he started to sink listen let me challenge everyone my brother my sister it will take faith to be established in this life brothers let me tell you this there is no guarantee anywhere that is a job that will lift you there is no guarantee anywhere that is even your business that will lift you you will need to take a shield of faith the statistics are scary if you believe them you will never build a house forever if you believe them you will never own one land let me talk to my brothers first sisters we can come to you but let me talk to my brothers because the world is selling us a lie and we are believing those garbages i don't have any godfather anywhere i don't have anybody anywhere ah 
this God, this God that can pick a man from the dung hill overnight. When a young man prospers fast, people get angry. I don't believe in all kinds of wrong schemes and all of that. But let no one fool you that God does not give people speed of lifting an establishment. Don't let anybody come and say, take, uh, take it easy. What they mean is be careful for something. And the Bible says be careful for nothing. Take it easy. When you are 45 and you buy your first car, it's all right. You can give God glory. For as your child can go to another school, doesn't make sense, doesn't matter what they teach. As soon as you can afford, it's a proposition. Don't just see it as an information, it's a that. But when you believe God's report, we have been taught that everything in life, you buy it. So all you are looking at is money, not God. But the Bible says they got the land in possession not by their own sword. Neither did their arm save them. That the God of heaven can arise. When you teach people superior spiritual strategies, they will ignore it. That's what makes people get angry. Once you see a young man with the blessing of the Lord, everybody starts getting angry and suspecting and, and in bitter hatred because they, they don't know what, what formula did you route this possibility from. No, sir. It is unto you according to your faith. It is not unto us. It is unto you. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her, not her and her neighbors, unto her alone, there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken, spoken, spoken. We are going to pray. I'm taking our time. This is not a little issue at all. You ignore it, you will fail in life. Brothers and sisters, listen. The fierceness of today's world, Satan has captured the media. He has captured every mechanism that transfers information to men. You just need to go out and there's unbelief everywhere. Wake up in the morning, the news is unbelief. Go around, the news is unbelief. Enter a lecture hall, unbelief. Your job, unbelief. You must say, no! I reject that report. I reject that report. There are people today, they said Nigeria is in a recession. They started going down. They are not even working for Nigerian government. But just because they, they received the report, they started, whether or not there was a recession, the truth is they are not even doing anything. They just believed and went down. I reject it. Ah. The Bible says there was darkness in Egypt, but in Goshen, the light. When the angel of death was slaughtering people like animals, there were people in Goshen who were moving and enjoying. You can exempt yourself, not only by light, not only by the sword of the spirit, you can hold the shield of faith. You can use your faith, not just as an instrument to receive things, but it keeps you until the word of God manifests. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I've shared with you? Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. Are you ready to pray? The first prayer point is that you are going to pray and say, I sanctify my eyes and my ears. I command you to refuse any report that is not of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray. I command a sanctification that my eyes be purged with eyes out.
that the gates of my ears come under divine covering. Lift your voice and pray. I command it. I command it. My eyes and my ears to be moved to the ears of the and Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare tonight that I am a believer. A believer of God's word. God cannot lie. God cannot fail. Therefore, every spirit of doubt, of fear, of unbelief, I cast you out of my life now. Lift your voice and pray. I command fears. I command doubts. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God still prospers. My God still heals. My God still delivers. My God still restores. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe the word of God, then let's pray three or four scriptures that can be for us as a rema word that we hold on to. Ready? Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Psalm 112. There is a prayer I want us to pick out from there and cry to God. He said it's a year of signs and wonders. Don't mind the naysayers. Don't mind those who mock you. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. Number two. This is the first prayer point. His seed. Your seed is not just your child. Your ideas, your business, your goals. is whatever comes from him. His seed shall be mighty. Lift your voice and say, My seed, I command you to be mighty. Lift your voice and pray. Your ideas, your influence, I command my seed, be mighty. Be mighty. Spiritual seed, be mighty. Financial seed, be mighty. Pray, the seed shall be mighty. I command it, I declare it. I will not be small. My children will not be small. Prophesy, Poinonia will not be small. The waters will not be small. My seed shall be mighty, mighty, mighty. I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. Do you believe what you just prayed? Because when I say seed, ladies say I don't carry the seed, I only receive it. So the devil will deceive you in not praying. No, seed is not just for men alone. 
your seed is anything that proceeds listen one of the ways to command influence is through your seed you send your seed on assignment bill gates sent his seed on assignment zuckerberg sent his seed on assignment wisdom is justified by her seed her children listen in life if you are the only one who is mighty you have failed it is the might of your seed that maintains your position nobody rises alone you rise alone in your family and all those under you don't rise and watch them bring you down again by themselves he said his seed we are going to pray it again lord the spirit of smallness the spirit of mediocrity that keeps me and everything that proceeds from me small i cross it in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray my ideas my dreams my seed shall be mighty my seed shall be mighty my seed shall be mighty. My seed must be mighty. My seed must be mighty. In the name of Jesus, everything that proceeds from Koinonia must be mighty. The teachings mighty. The revelations mighty. The miracles mighty. Give us the next verse. I want you to pray this scripture. It says wealth and riches. They are not the same thing. Wealth is different from riches. It says both of them. You can have wealth and not have riches. When you have a great idea in your mind, you have wealth. But if there's no money in your pocket, you are wealthy, but you are not rich. You can have money, but no idea, no system of replenishing. He said both wealth and riches will be domiciled. They won't be visitors. That means wealth and riches are spirits. You can call them and say you are welcome. Hey. Just like goodness and mercy. Lift your voice and call them for Lift your voice. The Bible says wealth and riches shall be my I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Shall be in Koinonia for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the kingdom, wealth and riches shall be in my life, shall be in my house, shall follow my children, my children's children. Hallelujah. The last verse is a prayer that many people don't understand. It's a waste in life if you spend your life building something that in one day just crashes. There is a spirit that destroys the good works of men. The Bible says his righteousness endures. His righteousness, his good works, the testimony of your impact remains forever. There are people who are in ministry for 30 years. Then in one month, something happens around your life and crashes everything. Destroys the testimony forever. You are going to lift your voice and say what the Lord doeth, he doeth forever in my life. There is no rising to the going down tomorrow. So lift your voice and pray. His righteousness endures forever. Pray, 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 pray,
Hallelujah. Was he praying against the spirit of poverty? Isaiah 45. Verse 2 and 3. Isaiah 45. Please be angry and pray. Don't join the people who have kept people in, in penury and destroyed the heritage of the faith upon their life. He says, I will go before thee and make the crooked path straight. He says, I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Verse 3. And I will give thee, guys, I will give thee the treasures, the treasures of darkness. Brothers and sisters, this is not a parable. It's not a parable. I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I the Lord which calleth thee by name I am the God of Israel and say Lord the hidden riches that belongs to me I'm ready to receive it in this season for my family for the gospel for the kingdom scriptures Isaiah 58 give us verse 11 and 12 powerful prayer Isaiah 58 verse 11 I'm giving you shields that you stand upon and the Lord shall guide thee continually there are people whose lives are suffering today because they lack divine guidance thou shalt hear a voice from behind everybody's running this way you run and crash with them he says the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in recession that when there is drought he will not only give you he will satisfy your soul and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a well watered garden like a spring of water whose waters fail not verse 12 and they that shall be of thee thy seed again you see that now and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations thou shalt be called the repairer that in this family nobody ever rose but all of a sudden there is somebody called the repairer the fixer of the cost the repairer of the tragedy lift your voice and pray this Lift your voice and pray. The repairer of the bridge. The repairer of self marriages. The repairer of destructive destinies. If I were you, I will pray this next prayer with all my heart. Isaiah chapter 60. 
we are reading from verse 10 to 14 in fact 10 to 15 listen brothers and sisters believe everything you are about to read these things are not something that was written to some ancient people hear what the bible says and the sons of strangers who will build koinonia who will build your house no you can choose to save for it you can believe that strangers can arise listen the sons of strangers the seed of strangers shall build thy walls they are kings the word minister is so so into your life their kings shall minister unto thee for in my wrath i smote thee but in my favor i've had mercy on thee next verse therefore kabaraka toskia thy gates shall be open continually listen he says they shall not be short that's why you can sleep in the night and still wake up with an alert he said day night that men who are those who will bring it men that men may bring unto you the forces of the gentiles and their kings may be brought we are reading to verse 15 quickly for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted next verse 14 it says the the glory of lebanon shall come unto thee the fir tree the pine tree the box together to beautify where the place of my sanctuary and i will make the place of my feet glorious 14 we are reading to 15 the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at the sole of thy feet they shall call thee the city not a person not a jimmy that you were born in a cave but right now you are a city it says the city of the lord the zion a one man becoming a city 15 whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee i will make thee an eternal excellency a joy of many generations open your mouth and turn it to your prayers one isaiah we are going to pray just two more prayer points and we're done listen you're going to lay your hands on your head your head is a symbol of your glory listen the bible says arise it's a command if you don't rise you are in disobedience it say arise do you know what arise means come out come out of limitations limiting beliefs in the next one minute I like you to blast and prophesy that my glory arises. I command Dimensions. Greater dimensions in ministry arise. 
Your business will be able to show an influence arise. In power arise. Listen, before we take the last prayer point, let me give you an assignment tonight. As much as God grants you grace, eh? find like four or five scriptures tonight. Don't just snow yourself into tomorrow. Are we together? One of the best ways to pray faith prayers is to pray scriptures directly. Yes, just find a scripture and pray it in tongues till it leaches onto your destiny. That's how I pray sometimes. I just begin to speak directly. Lord, this is what you said. I believe it. And you watch the God of wonders arise and surprise you. Are we together? I began to feel strongly my spirit after I went back yesterday. That the Lord was leading us to pray, especially along the area of this release from financial captivity. Huh? We are spiritual people yes, and we sir. love the Lord. But let me tell you the truth. There is no dominion if God does not free you and free your hand and free your children. One of the greatest ways to be a slave is to keep you a beggar. Are we together? He said the rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower, the borrower believer, the borrower tongue talker remains a slave. To the lender this is not some money mongering ambition of people who don't love god these are people who understand the systems of the kingdom are we together now yes so we're still going to be dealing with these things i believe if god grants grace subsequently i see visions of gates opening large gates this is what i see in the spirit visions of gates gates Hallelujah. Victoria, Victoria, please let's save time. Time is not on our side. Victoria, who is Victoria? Victoria, 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 Victoria. I'm seeing a woman outside Victoria. You are wearing like a red veil. Red, red, like a red veil. Come. I see the chains falling. Please come. Take it to Sakiata. Let me tell you tonight you will know there is God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That he's alive. Hallelujah. Stephen. 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 White. Come. Let her not go, please. Those that come out, they shouldn't just get up and go like that. Hallelujah. Let me talk to you. Please come. Come. Your deliverance has come tonight. 
13 years. Yes, 30 years. I don't know. 20 years. Hold, hold on, madam. Calm down. What's the, what's the situation? My husband. My husband has been stagnant for almost 20 years. 20 years. Look at me. Because the Lord is showing me a spirit. This is what I'm seeing. Please listen. And I'm seeing your husband tied to a tree. This is what God is showing me. What does he do? Because there is nothing moving. Finance, zero. This sin is even affecting your home. Because there is no peace. Is that true? I'm going to pray for you right now. This deliverance that has happened to you is not just for your sake. He said, as for me and my house. Hallelujah. Father. Brother is getting mad now. His brother is getting mad. Your father's brother. Brother, my husband's brother. Is. There's no other mic. Help us now. It's okay. Cheer up, madam. I want you to know that every time God steps in, it doesn't just touch you alone. The word of God goes around your house and looks for anywhere that is not like the Garden of Eden and it will reproduce Eden there. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a permanent change. I command breakthrough in your family to your husband to you and I cause that madness that spirit of madness please don't come out if I've not called you don't come out if I've not called you madam the Lord sets you free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Stephen do you have an elder brother hold on hold on who has an elder brother here come where is he I went, I left, he was not at home. Your, your elder brother, if because I'm seeing they are looking for him, where is he? He's not at home when I left home. He was not at home when you left home. If we don't pray for him, they are going to say he's missing and they will kill him somewhere. Are you getting my point now? Yes, sir. So we're going to pray. Huh? You believe that? I believe that. Please, let's not waste time. If you're wasting my time, I'll just leave you. There are many things to be done. Hold my hands, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, step in to this family. God is also restoring joy. Joy in your family. That's what God says, I should tell you. There is restoration of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is in Kaduna? My sister. Your sister is in Kaduna. What is she doing? Yet. She doesn't have it. Because I see stagnation and the Lord is saying I should release breakthrough to someone in Kaduna. Kaduna. In the name of Jesus Christ, she receives a job right now. You will return with your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, sir. You are great because I'm seeing in the vision of the Lord and you are standing like a hand and you are protecting your family members. The spirit of prayer is upon you. Otherwise, many disastrous things would have happened in your home. But then God is saying, I should tell you that he's stepping in as a warrior in your family. Please believe me, he's stepping in as a mighty warrior into your family. Lord Jesus, let an anointing, even through this brother, step into the family and let there be a restoration. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. We need to pray against CS. Otherwise, they are going to tell you that your baby is too big. And whether that your is not expanding enough. Huh? And they will say they will cut you. And that will cause a lot of bleeding and complications. But we need to pray. Because very soon this baby is coming. Is that true? It's true, sir. We are going to pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We position this baby well. And we command there's no complication now and every foul devil of darkness something is leaving you i'm seeing a spirit leaving you go in the name of jesus christ god bless
I'm seeing the Lord is saying he's wiping the tears from your family the Lord is wiping the tears from your family the Lord is wiping the tears from your family an anointing will come upon you the Lord is wiping the tears from your family have I finished with you please why are they out again huh? Stephen come Where's your sister? She's I have she's in Abuja. Eh? What's she doing? She's married. I didn't say is she married or not. She's not doing she anything. Doing? She's not doing anything. Yes. The Lord gives her a job now. Now! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to pray, sir. There is a lot of stagnation in your life. There's a lot of stagnation. Huh? And you want to settle down maritally. This is a design in your heart. Is that true? Yes. You are ashamed of it. Yes, yes. You want to settle down, but yes. it's like things have not been moving. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, a wife and the resources to marry will release to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will use you for his glory, but you will step into seasons where he will walk with you and he will prune you and he will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please come, my dear. All victorious, come madness, madness. This is the spirit of madness. This is the, the strong spirit of madness. Hallelujah. This is madness, and this is not just to you. This is I'm seeing a strong, I'm seeing a whirlwind all around. Is the spirit of a wanderer like Cain? Hold my hands, Father, in the name that is above all names. Aporati shalabai. We curse this spirit. We curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Vicky. I need to pray for you. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me. And the Lord is telling me wickedness all the way from Kogi State. This is what God is telling me wickedness all the way from Kogi State but we are going to pray that God will step in in your family and we are going to pray against the spirit of anger in your family it has caused the family a lot Lord let these demonic things live right now I curse that spirit by the fiery presence of God I set the family free in the name of Jesus Christ all Victoria please come Next month is a season of laughter in your house. Go and write it. Next month is a season of laughter. God is going to give your family a major breakthrough. Go and write it. We'll still be alive and you'll come and share it. It's a, it's a mighty season of breakthrough. Mighty season of breakthrough for the family. And where's your sister? Because I'm supposed to speak this word to her too. That, is she not your sister? Come. I'm seeing another person. Where's the person? She's in Lagos. She's in Lagos because I'm seeing four ladies. We are going to pray that in the name that is above all names, this word that God has shown me will come to pass. Father, we prophesy right now that this month of August, will mark a tremendous season of breakthrough in this family in the name of the lord jesus let it be so no power will stop it in jesus name i pray god bless you my dear come where's your mother Delicious. eh doing what and for now we have to pray there are, see, one of the things that I see God doing this night, there are many families that are stagnated. I don't know why God wants to deal with this issue of stagnation. Standing in one place. You are moving, but spiritually you are standing in one place. Hallelujah. Father, I release this family right now. Look at me. Your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? Your relationship with Jesus Christ. God is saying I should tell you, that he wants you to be very serious with him 
that's the key all right all right please that's the key be very serious with you thank you lord jesus christ come who is grace my sister who is grace my sister who is victor a friend a friend we have to pray because god is giving grace a miracle Amen. god is giving grace a big miracle what's she doing my name victoria grace 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 my sister what's she doing a student a student which school she just finished her secondary school and i have a cousin that is grace it's not a student i'm talking about there is someone else called grace she's a cousin of mine she's a cousin of yours where is she she's at home she's at home we have to pray for her because god wants to bless her Amen. and then god wants to visit your family too thank you father let there be shouts of victory i curse the spirits that are responsible for every kind of predicament in this family in the name of jesus christ what's she here for victoria let me pray for you father visit her in the mighty name of jesus christ was that victoria she's in the hospital what she's suffering from cancer of the blood cancer of the blood yes, hold my hands we change that report now cancer you have a voice and you have a name therefore bow to the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam can i talk to you please come your time of visitation has come because while you were there the lord was ministering to me and i heard what you were saying you were telling the lord that you know he will visit you this night yes come please let me talk to you god is going to set your he's going to change your entire life Amen. 180 degrees Amen. thank you jesus christ we'll pray god is addressing your health number Amen. one what's wrong with you uh, 2011 i was diagnosed of hypertension hypertension then 2006 i had a cesarean section my last baby uh-huh i lost the baby since then my abdomen refused to go back to its normal size because this is demonic it's not it's it not used to it, trouble me that's what i'm saying so when i came here it was one of the prayer points i said god should locate me in my health my abdomen my finances my marriage god is and my god children. is going to madam let nobody let you think that it's too late to have a child Amen. this is what the lord is saying i should Amen. minister to you Amen. forget about what has happened Amen. we are going to pray because until this thing goes down a child is not coming there is a spirit that is responsible i cause that spirit now go Go! I see you in the spirit. Let this woman go right now. Go! You see, you see it leaving her. You are a wicked devil of darkness. Go! 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 I prophesy and I command victory. In the name of Jesus, hypertension, you are a spirit. Leave now. Leave now. I command this thing to go down. To go down. Every growth, every swelling, I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. And your high blood pressure that is high, I command it to go down also. And this man that comes to molest you in dreams, the last time you saw him, is the last time you will ever see him in the name of jesus the lord is asking me to speak over your finances i command that by the mystery of divine supply let there be a turnaround miracle in your life in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you jesus christ i'm seeing a woman outside one mama just like this outside outside Please let's save time because we want to pray for the sick. I want to see how we'll finish as soon as possible. Please don't stop praying. Keep praying. God is touching people. Please come. No, she's not the one I'm seeing, but just come. But she's not the one. There is another one.
Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray against the spirit of death upon this man. Because I'm seeing the spirit of death. I'm seeing the spirit of death. We challenge this spirit, oh God. We challenge this spirit, oh God. Go! You will not die. I cause the spirit of death. I cause the spirit of death. I minister life to you. Life. 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 I'm praying for you. I command breakthrough into your life, madam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has died in your life, I command you to come alive right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me another woman. I'm seeing you are from Benway State. Benway State. I'm seeing a woman from Benway. 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 Please, if there's someone like that, let's just. Hallelujah. Benway State. There's someone here. You came to stand for someone with breast cancer cancer is cancer of the breast who is that you came to stand in for someone you're the one you're the one yes sir my cousin your cousin yes. breast cancer yes sir because this thing has gone serious yes sir. and it's only the power of god yes otherwise sir. they are going to cut off the breast yes, sir. that's what the doctors have said yes, but sir. tonight there is a name that is above every other name yes, there is a name there is a name there is a name hold my hands Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we curse that spirit right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing you wearing an atlas shoes. God is bringing advancement and speed into your life. I'm seeing you wearing the shoes of an athlete because you are going to run. God is going to visit you in a very mighty way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Breast cancer. Father, let there be perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her come. Let her come. I know. It's not even I want to talk about. It. Your mother. Where is your mother? My mother. She's at home. She's at home. God is going to visit your mother in a very mighty way. Amen. God is, I'm seeing increase coming. It looks like a promotion or something is coming for your mom. And I'm seeing God visiting your family's finance in a very mighty way. Amen. I'm seeing a ring in your hand. Are you married? You are married. Yes. Where's your husband? He's, He's, He's seated there. Please come, husband. I, I'm not sure I know you. Come, because God wants to speak a word to the family. Sir, the Lord God of Israel Amen. is going to visit your family in the next three months. Amen. You will see dramatic things. Amen. There are things that I may not say in, in the open now, but I see a miracle coming. I see a miracle coming. Um, how long have you been married, sir? I'm hearing a cry of a baby. Amen. And it's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. This will happen by the Spirit of God. This will happen by the grace of God. Amen. Please lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I curse everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing you buying a new car. I'm seeing you buying a new car. God is showing me. You are buying a new car. It's a Toyota car. It's a Toyota car. You will see God do it by the hand of God. And God is also bringing you. Um, I'm seeing God bringing men to help you, even financially. 
because this is one of the things that you really desire Amen. god is bringing men to help you financially Amen. father in the name of jesus let Amen. this be so in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now before i pray for the sick did i pray for her from benway state mama come do you have a daughter ma yes this is the daughter I need to pray for you. Just leave your mother and hold my hands. We need to pray for you. So that you will not have a child before marriage. Huh? We need to pray for you. There is a spirit in the family. And we have to pray. Because even you as you are like this. It's not like you don't love God. But you need to settle down. Otherwise men, men cause a lot of problems. And it's not like you're a bad girl. It's a spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set her free from every yoke of darkness. Let her go now. Go! Mama, may God bless you. I open a new chapter for your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus that everything that has cost you pain, my God is visiting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As we sing that song, there's power in the name of Jesus. All the people that came here for healing, please just come and arrange yourself. Everybody keep praying in tongues and say, Father, visit me. God is visiting people inside and outside. Please be orderly. Let's do it very fast. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power. If you came with anybody's picture, you can also hold it. There is power. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name, it's an experience to break every chain of darkness. No matter if there's no space, just now, as we pray for others, then they will give way. One more time. There is power. There is more than enough power to address any situation. I don't care what it is and I don't care how long it has been. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay my hands upon you and pray. Listen. Some of you are coming in for sickness. But what is the, the root cause of all of this? Is, is, the, is the same root cause that is affecting finance, affecting marriage. God is not just going to heal you. Hallelujah. God is going to address the root cause. Hallelujah. So as I pray for you, I want you to march down to your seat. Whatever you could not do, make sure you begin to do it. Hallelujah. I already sense the fire of the Holy Ghost upon my hands. Very strong. And all of us who are standing, God is touching people inside and outside. Be focused. Don't be distracted. By the way, if you have not written your prayer request, now is the opportunity to take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Let there be such a move of the healing power of Jesus that as these hands are laid, stretch forth your right hand, O oh God, and let your people be healed in the name of Jesus.
at this woman crying. Hold on. Hold on, please. Who brought this woman? I brought myself. Jesus brought me here. <laughs> Brother, the evil spirit has been attacking me. Something has been moving up my body. It's okay, please don't cry. Uh, about 30 years now. Tonight is your night of liberty. I hear the chains falling. Jesus. I cause this spirit chains out. Out. I command that devil of death. I the chains. Leave this body now. By the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I hear the chain falling down. In your, there was pain in your leg, but now is there pain? It has Do check yourself. It has and it's like your stomach used to feel strong. And, and then you feel something moving like a snake. Check it now. Check it now. Squeeze yourself. Father, Jesus, Father, thank you. There's nothing. I'm not feeling anything. Everything has gone. This was a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here. Come on, celebrate Jesus, people. Go! 
Because God told me to ask you, whatever it is, just believe that as I'm praying for you, it's going. Are you getting my point? So move forward. 
Some of you, if, if we keep asking one by one, it doesn't matter what it is. Hallelujah. Go ahead, watch it. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. Five years of ulcer, you'll be healed, right? And, and discharging. Hey, don't worry. God will set you free. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. 
miracles everywhere miracles everywhere and right now right now miracles Jesus Christ. Please make sure you are praying. Don't think God is just touching the people here. There is something the atmosphere is doing. Let's just finish the prayer for this.
a lion in the spirit. This guy has a wild spirit. When he's angry, he can kill. And it's not his fault. This is, this is an ancestral thing. See how many people trying to hold one person. This is how it will tie his destiny. This is how he will get married to a very innocent lady and be manifesting things that he doesn't know. I set you free right now. This is a place of liberty. Leave him. Leave him. He's free. Oh, yeah. 
Certain families free right now from marital delay. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. All those affected, as you count three, the fire of God will sweep across this place. There are marital destinies that have been tied down. Some of you, you are standing, but you are representing your family in the name that is above all names. Right now, anyone tied under any manifestation spirit husband spirit wife every manifestation of darkness as you shout the name jesus right now i command those doors to be open one two three free i set you free now right now right now right now be free I open up doors of marriages inside and outside. Be free. Be free. Every spell, every curse stopping your marital destiny. Hallelujah. Mommy, please can I talk to you? Your time of visitation has come because the Lord is saying He is going to wipe your tears and He's going to do this speedily. It's by the hand of the Lord. It's where is your husband, man? Do you know why I'm asking you this? Because your situation is like in a similitude of that of Sarah, but God is going to wipe your tears. Please believe me. When I pray for you, 
I'm praying for marital delays. And then I'm looking at you. And the Lord is saying that this woman does not even have a husband. At the point I even say, ah, what is this? Is that true? And I'm asking myself, but I'll pray for you. You, you trust God to settle down? I'll pray for you. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. Anyone here due for marriage? Listen. Anyone here, be it yourself or any member of your family that is long overdue for marriage. Right now, I prophesy in the name that is above all names. Let those doors be open now. May those doors be open now. Something is happening in this place. May those doors be open now. May those doors be open now. Madam, you will stand before the people of God when your wedding card is out. If there is a God in heaven, I break that curse right now. Now! And I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? The earth is full of His glory. My life is full of Your glory. And the people say, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Hallelujah. All of you lift your hands. God is going to do something amazing here right now. Listen. Everyone is standing for himself now, not for family. Please lift your hands. Listen. I'm seeing powers that have tied down the advancement of people. Listen to me. Because the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing someone standing with a sword. And this is a sword of judgment. This one is not for families again. There are many of us, you are walking, but you are standing because nothing is moving. Right now, in the name of Jesus, many of you will literally feel the fire of God come upon you like a baptism is burning chaffs burning chains some of you your academics are the way they are right now because of powers neke paratika come on now. father in the name of jesus right now chains be broken be broken be broken Chains be broken. Baptisms are happening. Baptisms of fire. Personal deliverances of fire. 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 The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's time for you to move forward. Fresh fire to move forward. Fresh fire. No stagnation. Fresh fire. Fresh fire! Fresh fire! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. We are still going to do this again. Listen, I'm telling you, this is the root problem of many of the our predicaments. There are there are forces. Please follow me. This is the part you get to participate. Lift your hands again. Lord, what is it that has tied your people down? They have prayed for others. They have ministered to others. But right now, like a volcano, let the fire of God sweep across this place. Right now, let it burn the roots. Let it burn the roots. 
set the roots on fire. Set the roots on fire. Let your people make progress. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let's enter the realm of your academics now. There are horns. Tied people's CGPA. Tied people's minds. But he said, I have sent carpenters. Lift your hands. It's not everyone that is dull. There are people who are studying. You are doing your best. Right now, all of those ones, your hands, fire is coming on your hands. Just your hands. There will be a mighty deliverance. Right now, one, two, three. Fire on your hands. On your hands. Fire. Academic liberty. Fire on your hands. We break those chains. We break those chains. We break those chains. Come on, join me as you pray. Join me as you pray. Academic chains be broken. Hallelujah. There are some of us, listen, God is setting people free tonight. One circle of tragedy. As soon as he's finishing, another one is starting. It, it never comes to a point where your family can experience peace. The Bible says, and he dug a well, and they came and closed it. He dug another one, and they closed it. And he dug the third one, and they left it, and they said, Rehoboth, the Lord has given me room. I'm praying right now. Please pay attention to what I'm doing. This is the root cause. Believe me. You will be wasting your time for nothing if you don't confront these powers you can receive temporary breakthrough but you will get back into the same situation hallelujah in fact we are going to pray just for one minute hallelujah you are going to pray i like you to pray like a priest in the next one to two minutes listen I like you to tell the Lord that whatever is the root cause, you are not concerned about the fruits and the leaves. It may be headache, leave that one. Lord, what is the root cause of my stagnation? What is the root cause of my family's problem? In the name of Jesus, let it be confronted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. I pray, take it, take it, take it. Ropoko poto pata. We attack the root causes of sicknesses. The root causes. Pray. Pray for your business. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your academics. Visit me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. But there are many of us here. The troubles in our lives are as a result of the mistakes and the wickedness for some of us of our parents and loved ones. He said, who's seen that this man is in this situation? Is it him 
or his father hallelujah lift your hands please lift your hands god is setting men free tonight anyone here going through circles of tragedy as a result of covenant and parental influence as you shout the name jesus after the count of three may the fire of god separate you from the mistakes of your lineage in the name of jesus one two three be separated be separated be separated now be separated i break limitations ancestral spirits tribal spirits territorial spirits right now be free every name that is in any demonic cover we set it on fire now we set it on fire now Jesus died to set us free. Jesus truly died to set us free. It wasn't a joke. He said, but we do not see all things under his feet. Lift your hands again. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I am ready to make progress. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to break barriers. And tonight, by the blood of Jesus, I confront and challenge the root causes of my limitation. Lift your voice and begin to pray. We challenge it. We challenge powers that have limited men. There must be a release tonight. Jacob wrestled with God. Pray. 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 It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to break limits. Break limits. I tell you, God is there are there are massive, there is an emancipation. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks for me in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus is the price for my freedom listen keep the hands lifted just keep them lifted all instruments just stop just lift your hands and keep them lifted there is a reason why I'm saying you should keep them lifted hallelujah the Spirit of God is going to walk through the crowd. Listen, just keep them lifted. Something marvelous will happen right now. I'm seeing water that God is pouring on people. Right now, let the power of God move everywhere, inside and outside. This water that I see an angel pouring is a cleansing, is a purging of many people's foundations. Just keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is going on, but just lift your hands. If you trust that God is in this place, let the angels move right now. Row to row, line to line. Visit men, oh God. Visit men. Visit men. Katelato. Row to row. Water. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the water, the blood. I invoke the power of these three spiritual entities right now. The mystery of the spirit, the water, and the blood. Shh. 
I tell you, see, many of you will, will walk into levels of breakthrough that will surprise you. Keep it lifted. Just keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. You don't know what is happening in the spirit. Just keep it lifted. Jesus. Shikaparia. Neketa. Manteporiata. I see covens on fire. I'm telling you. Covens of darkness on fire. This is not just your family. This is your life now. You prayed for your family, but you need to move forward. Otherwise, men will think you are faking this thing. A chain is falling from someone's head. A chain is falling from someone's head. A chain is falling from someone's head. I see this in the spirit. A chain is falling. This is mental bondage. A chain is falling. I'm hearing sounds of chains. Hallelujah. 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 Now, before we submit the prayer request, lift your hands. You are going to mention one thing, just one, that you want God to do, that everyone will know that this one, I prayed it here and God did it. Are you getting my point now? I'm just walking based on the instructions of the Spirit. He wants to give you a sign of His presence in your life. I know you wrote many things. Brothers and sisters, in the next one minute, cry out one thing. One. Just one. Don't be foolish. Pray. Pray. I'm ministering by the influence of the Spirit. Pray. No matter how impossible it is. Pray. Sotopa, unto you that answers prayers. Will all flesh come unto you that answers prayer? Suppose the case panda rekete kapa mata leketa. What thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you have received it. Believe that you have received it. There is nothing out for my God. Pray it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone, let's pray in tongues for one minute as we collect the prayer request. Please go ahead. God is just leading us to pray and he's doing many things in the background. Please, quickly, in one minute, let's submit the prayer request. Pass it to the last person. Pass it to the last person. Ushers, please, cooperate with us and let's hurry up. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Keep passing the request, but listen to me. I made a vow to God. I just returned from my retreat. And one of the vows that I made to God is that I don't care what people would think about me. But if I ever have the opportunity to minister to God's people, I'd rather have an ugly message and let people get results. Are you getting what I'm saying? Part of my my prayer and I, I took out time to cry. I said, Lord, your people must see your hand. It says, oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My heart longs after you to see your power.
power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. That means what I have seen in the sanctuary, I am also a sanctuary. Reproduce the result in my life. Hallelujah. So this program is aimed at bringing everyone into a place of personal spiritual success. And let me tell you, I know that it's not a very nice message. I wish that I didn't have to pray to confront spirits and powers that stop people I like to preach a nice message that will just tell you that don't worry if you believe everything is has, has gone it has gone I wish I just wish it were like that but brothers and sisters I can tell you it is not it is not you will believe that lie to your detriment it is not we live in a rude world and there are forces otherwise the anointing of the spirit is useless what then is the purpose of the anointing what then is the efficacy of the blood why then does Paul tell us to put on hallelujah I want your life to experience breakthroughs see otherwise we have no right to tell people we are not faking it are you getting my point if there is no breakthrough in your life then what then is the confidence of the message that people keep saying god is and one i believe that one result can silence a lot of questions i'm not that believer that likes just no there must be an evidence in your life I don't know how many times I saw this when I kept praying the Lord kept talking to me and said the root cause deal with the root cause of people's lives root cause I'm telling you it's not just healing alone that's why you notice I pray for the sick very quickly hallelujah We are going to pray one prayer point before we have all the prayer requests here inside and outside make sure you are participating hallelujah i like you to pray and challenge every limitation whether mental whether spiritual anything that limits you is not of god lift up your voice and confront it i break limitations if there are no limitations, you will make progress. If there are no limitations, you will make progress. Please, everyone, pray. Take this seriously. Even if you are walking, be praying as you are walking. Lord, I challenge limitations. Let there be no limits in my life. Let there be no limits in my life. Let there be no boundaries. As far as your eyes can see. As far as your eyes can see. Ushers, please, let's hurry up. Ushers, please, let's hurry up. Sopotoko patadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
That's the word we are attacking this night. Ye have tarried in this mountain for too long. He said, turn ye not words. Hallelujah. Hold on before you pray. While I lay my hands here. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of the person you are going to pray. If there is nobody, you can join and make two or three. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time, say in the name of Jesus. I come as an ambassador of the kingdom. And I challenge every limitation in every area of my life. I command it to bow down. The Bible says, Naaman, hear me, 2 Kings 5. Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a mighty man, but tonight we are going to confront the bots in our lives. You are academically excellent, but there are limitations. I don't know if there are limitations in someone's life that you are saying, Lord, in this miracle service, this is it. Hallelujah. While I pray in the next two to three minutes, instrumentalists play, clash the cymbal, and everyone pray. Hold the hands of your neighbor. If he's joking, leave him and hold another person.
more time. Hallelujah. Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is confronting limitations. Many of you don't know what limitations are. You know, poverty is a limitation. Are you getting my point? Spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation. A prayerless life is a capital limitation. A wordless life is a limitation when you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married it's a limitation academic backwardness see there are very few people who are here for for sicknesses and all is is limitation that's the name of what you are going through hallelujah before i prophesy we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done we are still going to pray. Don't be tired. I beg you, just follow through with me. If you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit, I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Limitations. I know a brother. Listen. Listen. I know a brother that for many years, this gentleman was so gifted. But I'm telling you, nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted. But things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything that, that he knew to do. But when God made him know that these things are limitations, he took a quality time of his life challenging it. And brothers and sisters, when he prevailed, doors were open. It was as if the blessings have left heaven, but to now come to this realm. And Daniel remained in prayer. Please hear me. Anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough. It's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not. Forget that nonsense that the devil brings. Men ought always. Luke 18:1. He spake this parable. If you are alive, you don't pray because of fear. You pray because it's a spiritual transaction. It makes things possible in this realm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time, and you're going to say, Lord, one more time. Visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspect where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repoto pakata. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives. Break limits. Financial limits. Suppose Sata intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it sopotopata we break limitations business limitations ministry limitations limitations of potentials hallelujah the last prayer point hallelujah the last prayer point every time limits are broken the lord will bring a man 
to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men, no names, they lifted him and opened the sink. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I, com I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Men of influence. Men of access. Sopotoposh. Rokotoposh. Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray. Pray. Pray, pray. Lord, we call them for. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me. The prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea. An influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say Lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny I receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray support it Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. Pray. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Certain men, certain men. It was the wine presser that told the king, He said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. 
many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials you have sharpened your leadership potentials it's not pride you know that it's time to break forth but the distance between you and the next level is that certain man lift up your hands oh god where is this certain man let him come into my life come on pray one more time takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what i'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while i was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the uk and he was saying man of god don't ask me how i got to find out about you and have your number he said when a man is in trouble he will look for help anyhow are you getting my point while you are sitting down to sleep somebody is waking others to talk about you but you must activate it it doesn't happen by magic are you getting what i'm saying there are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry there are many of you who graduated with excellent results you've even added masters and the king sent for joseph somebody must send for you to leave the level that you have and i prophesy whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names listen listen there is a man of god a popular man of god i'll not mention names the man had the gift of god like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what i'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered the taxi the holy spirit told him sow a seed of thirty thousand naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed ah the driver looked at him he said what will i give you he said nothing he said sir can i collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said talk may god bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in uk are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking and said, Kai, 
We are looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing. And we need men of integrity, you know. And the driver said, sir, there was a man that gave me his number. This guy is a true man of God. And that was it. I'm serious. They called him and they said, sorry, we are from this, this region of Redeem. I tell you, they brought that man after that ministration. There were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came. And he said, God told me to bless you. He wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said, this is an anointed man. Please open doors for him. And the guy got 17 invitations. Everybody. It does not take time to change your story. What looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you tired of praying? Are you tired of praying? Because we must call them for. I don't want to waste your time. Let me just share it. I don't know if you shared his testimony. Did you share your testimony, Erima? I'm not sure he shared his testimony. Maybe at an appointed time. But let me say a bit of it. What ambassador? Eh? Unilever. This come. He just came back today. We met together at the airport in Abuja and then we came back together. By the grace of God, are you getting my point? And by the ministry of just one great man, Prof. Hallelujah. He has been selected as the ambassador of Unilever Nigeria. Are you, listen, listen, listen. The race is not to the swift. They just came back from their training in Lagos. And we even bombed. I was waiting for my luggage and I just saw him. And they had told me, he called me in Lagos and he said he was around. We never met. How God can change a man's story. My father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering. There was no man to lift him. His genius were rising and they, they, they just trampled this man. And it so happened that one man who used to be his junior, he, when, when we went for crusade in 2006, six years, he was the one who interpreted for me. And he was also the one who interpreted for Renard Bonke when he came to Joss. He was that man. On account of the kindness, he went and said one or two things about my father. And when they went to my father's um, CV and all of that, they said, where has this man been? They said, immediately, he should leave Joss and report to Lagos. He has been there for three years now. Many of us are praying, Lord, take me to the next level. I'm telling you the secret. You need a man. Hear me. There are things you cannot do for yourself. You may be anointed, but your grace will remain there until a man can announce. You may have a great business, a multi-million and billion dollar business, but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you. Are you getting my point? I know one of my friends. He was my classmate. Very intelligent and brilliant guy. This guy finished, furthered his education. There was nobody to speak for him. And this guy kept struggling for years. Nobody to speak for him. And one day I, I prayed. I said, oh Lord, but help this guy. This guy has paid the price. Look, when I say, I, I think I will classify him as a genius. And I'm not telling a lie. But I know other people, before they even finish service, the road has been made plain. You need someone in your life. Please pray and say, oh God, send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life. Please pray. Send a man to change my music ministry, oh God. Send a man. Send a man into my family. Koinonia, pray, we are rounding up. Sopotopata. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man into my life. Pray for your business. Pray for your job. One recommendation is all you need. One man who can believe in you. Struggling continues. 
until there is a voice that can speak for you struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you and invest in your grace hallelujah rise up on your feet I want to prophesy into your life I truly believe that this miracle service will bring remarkable results hallelujah lift your hands please as much as possible if you can stand stand inside and outside has thou commanded thy money this system of God's kingdom does not work without it being activated hallelujah don't get too familiar that every miracle service we are speaking there is something that is happening hallelujah we are entering the eighth month and I want to pray for you right now father in the name of your son Jesus Christ the son of the living God I prophesy right now whoever needs to come into anyone's life for the next dimension of their lives to open up I call them forth right now in the name of Jesus I call them forth right now in the name of Jesus I call them forth right now in the name of Jesus business help us ministry help us marriage help us anyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above all names we command by the power of the holy ghost let doors of job be open right now let it be open right now anyone called barry 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 in the name that is above all names we provoke fruitfulness we provoke fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Anything in your life that is dying, business, ministry, potentials, your gift, your ideas, your proposals, your letters, your visions, your dreams, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I knock on the door of life and I command that let there be life, 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 life to that dry boat. Hallelujah. Everything that represents tragedy and disfavor in your life, that it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn, in the name that is above all names, may supernatural doors of favor be open right now. hallelujah I want to pray for your finance the Lord is leading me to do this as many of you who believe it please can you hold a seed in your hand get a seed for some of you it may be a sacrificial seed if you don't believe it just, just forget about it we don't cajole people we don't tell lies I want to speak into your finances hallelujah please lift it up Is our prayer and our duty that God will come through in every area of our life. But let me tell you something. It will take a seed to open up the heavens. Just leave the hands. Leave the hands. I want to rebuke the devourer. For some of you, this is for you a seed of mercy to speak over your non tithing for some of you this is a seed of wisdom to open you up to ideas of wealth for some of you this is a seed of open heavens a seed of breakthrough just lift it up lift it up Hallelujah. the Lord is showing me 11 people the fire of God is coming on your seed from your hand 11 people 
11 people right now lord let your power move let them know that this is not just a conjuring of men 11 people 11 people super yatamba let that seed be salted with fire we give it a voice in the realm of the spirit please lift it up let me speak with this seed higher the power of god is moving because poverty poverty is one thing that god hates don't ever let anybody convince you that god is the author of lack and poverty your seed your seed is the key to getting out of this level Trust me, this is not a financial gimmick. Father, right now, with this seed, in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of poverty, goodness, goodness. How could we have ended this service without prophesying? Look at spirits. I see it in the spirit. There is an exit of wicked forces tying people's finances father in the name of jesus we release by the mystery of divine supply let there be abundance now let there be abundance now everything that has tied your financial life and that of your family we contend together as a family that it must be released in the name of jesus go ahead and drop the seed and pray in tongues quickly Please, we are rounding up. Please, quickly, ushers, let's save time. Many of you will experience breakthroughs, mighty breakthroughs. Lift your hands, we are not done, please. We are out of time, we have to hurry up. Please, make sure you drop something. Make sure a seed leaves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep the hands lifted. The ushers will get to you. But please, there is somebody outside. Ah, a mighty manifestation. The spirit of poverty is being broken outside. Outside, just lift your hands, please. I know we're out of time. Just give me one minute. You don't need to bring the people. Outside, just keep the, the hands lifted. Father, whoever those people are, let the fire of God locate them right now. Right now right now right now poverty be broken i cast that spirit i cast that spirit i cast that spirit hallelujah say the blessing of the lord is my inheritance say the blessing of the lord is my inheritance and through my giving I access that inheritance father now I'm praying for you now every limitation over anyone's life may that limitation fall now and every destiny helper that needs to come into your life to bring your life partner to bring your business partner to bring to connect you with graces in the name of Jesus we release them into your life hallelujah give Jesus praise Lord Jesus. give Jesus praise hallelujah let me make an altar call very quickly right now there are many of us here you have never given your heart to the Lord please listen inside and outside We've never truly made that commitment to Jesus. Some of us have given our hearts to the Lord, but we have found ourselves derailing. And tonight, God is calling you home. Wherever you are, please leave your seat and come right now. Celebrate them. They are coming. Celebrate them. Don't wait for anybody. Jump up on your feet and come. Outside, wherever you are, God is talking to you and saying you need to make your, your ways right with Jesus. Please come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody. Don't be ashamed. 
I know there are a number of people outside. Jesus is calling you to make your ways right. Jesus is calling you. Keep coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Keep coming. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Take my everything. Use me for your glory. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make up my mind to walk with the Spirit of God. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. And I receive the grace of God to live a victorious Christian life. Father, I pray for these ones. Bless them. Anoint them. Use them. May their decisions last. May their decisions be true. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this decision. I'd like you to follow the usher. Follow the usher and he's going to lead you. Hallelujah. Now, while I take the announcement, if this is your first time of worshiping with us, I'd like you to leave your seat and just run out here. We want to bless and speak a word of prophecy over you. God bless you. We celebrate you. Outside, no matter how far you are, come. Come, encourage them, Koinonia. Encourage them. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Come on, Koinonia. This is not the best. We are grateful people in this house. We are grateful people. He brought them by the finger of God. Hallelujah. Keep coming. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. Thank you so much for making our time to come. Hallelujah. We honor you. We celebrate you. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. This is our miracle service. We are here every Friday and God is building us. We want to pray and prophesy into your life right now. I want you to believe it because you will see the hand of God. The Bible says, who has believed our report and to whom the hand of the Lord has been stretched? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, stretch your hands and let's bless them. They came because they believed that God will step into their lives. Stretch your hands. We prophesy over every aspect of your life. God is coming through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever challenge you came here with, we are assuring you that you will not return with it. We bless you with hunger for the things of God. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with the presence of God. We bless you with love for God in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you with the favor of God. You are like a well-watered garden. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be mightily used of God in Jesus' name. Thank you once again for coming. Please, I'd like you to follow the usher waving his hands. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you very briefly.